Hi, today I've got a very special guest in our studio, Miss Vi. Miss Vi is actually one of the award-winning Vietnamese chefs who actually represent Vietnam to the world with uh, the Vietnamese cuisine. And she's got many restaurants and a hotel school in Vietnam. And she's here with the Food and Wine Festival to show the Melbourne how to cook Vietnamese food. And we happy to have her here and Miss Vi. Hello. What are you going to do today? Um, first time for having me. I would love to show I Melbourne is one of the most famous soup in my hometown in Hoi An. Clam soup with uh, herb and ginger. Wow, this is coming from your hometown. This is yes, a very famous yes, one, I heard. Yes, very uh, uh, famous soup. Everyone uh, come to Hoi An to try this soup. It's so fresh, healthy and tasty. Well, I know that you have uh, tested your food. In Hoi An, I know that you've been doing fantastic job there and I would love to show that what you're doing to our audience here. So, it's all yours. Thank you. We're going ready to go. I'll show you some ingredients we have here. We're going to get uh, for maybe four portion. One portion you need half kilogram of clam. And we need some ginger, green chili, lime, this is a lemongrass and Vietnamese herbs. For sure that you need one of the most important herbs we call Vietnamese mint. Yeah. It's the most important uh, mint for the soup. And on the side we have some uh, anise basil. And we do somehow coriander and regular mint. So a bit of everything of the herbs we put on top of the soup. When we serve it looks so fresh and much tastier. Yeah, you need ginger, you're going br gentle bruise. Ginger you need to put into your stock first because to make it more flavor. For chili you need to uh, gentle bruise too. Because depend on how spicy it is. If you are very spicy, you like very spicy, just bruise them a bit harder. And um, also go into the stock. Um, this is the lemongrass. We're going to use about I think three sticks. But make sure that you take the layer outside. This one is a little too woody and chewy. So we just use the white one inside, it's much more flavor. Uh, we take the layer outside and then we're going to uh, bruise them again. The reason why you need to bruise this. So we're going to cut them a little shorter. You can see how woody it is, it's so woody. And one more time, trying to break it to give it a bit more flavor, or into the stock. And then you need some um, seasoning. So you only need a bit of rock salt. And uh, this is a fish sauce for Vietnamese food. Don't forget to, to uh, using fish sauce because it's our main flavor. Just a few drops. Okay, and this is the broth we use for drink. So we need a bit of sugar. Normally I use rock sugar, but now, I mean, uh, if you don't have rock sugar, you can use a bit of white sugar, no problem. And then wait until your uh, water boil a bit more. The more fragrant you have, it's better broth. So we're going to use a spoon to taste um, the broth a little bit to see how it tastes, and then you put the clam inside. Uh, this, this I said again, clear broth, so don't add it too much seasoning. Um, just a bit more sweet salt, I guess. And a bit more sugar. Uh, depend on how, how fresh is your clam. Uh, if they really fresh, you don't need much sugar. So make sure that when you buy clam, try to get the fresh as possible. So, Miss V, um, stock, like you said, you know, like it says, you know, you keep it longer. How long? Uh, I would say about 10 minutes. 10 minutes yes. you cook the stock. Yeah. You don't have to cook like two, three hours like the no, European. No, there's just water in there. Yes. Because uh, this is, have to be very fresh. Correct. So, 10 minutes is enough to have fragrance and also it's keep the broccoli fresh. Okay. And when the, the clams start opening up, take it out? Yes. Don't, don't boil them too long, they get too stale, chewy. Okay. Okay. Vietnamese people, we eat soup. This broth should be very clear, so make sure that no foam. Okay. So we take this off. 
and we do a low heat for the last minute. So all the clam have to be on. I would like to use the green chili to put on top, see? you know, to garnish. So you take them on the side. Okay, that should be enough broth. Um, I like all the lemongrass to be stick on top. With the basil, we call anise basil with the purple stem. This is the more beautiful ba um, basil for Vietnamese cuisine. Any soup, any raw salad, we always use some herb. And remember, use some a part of some flour. You can see it. It's a more beautiful part. And we're going to put on top for garnish. You can see how fresh it is. And a couple more mint, just a regular mint. It's sweet. That was fantastic. That was so quick. I look so Culinary Corner, brought to you by Dilma Tea, the finest tea on earth. For a full bodied English breakfast tea, bright English afternoon tea, and strong, fragrant Earl Grey, try Dilma's new single region selection. The tea you love, hand picked in the region best suited to its flavour. Do try it. Hi, I'm Jayanta Bandara from Site Tree Construction. Sideway Constructions build new homes and custom design houses. We work with you on the house plan, select the best skilled craftsmen and manage the entire life of the project. Every home we build uses the finest materials, latest technologies and offers stunning design choices. Trust Sideway Construction to help you make your dreams come to life. Lanka currency converters private limited waiting Sri Lanka we obey na hita vithunta ikmanin ha davasi hela mage katamuda levi meter sati dina hatha mapu amati hekir durakatane anutunai panas name tis hatai visiname. G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing. We're fly fishing specialists and we've got two stores in Bentley and Geelong. So if you want to get into it or you're already into it, we've got all the brands here and all the right advice. We'll look after you and I might even shout you a coffee. Mm.